normally at this point we would start working on our application however i would want to right away set up our continuous deployment with github as well as the netlify because in general as you're working with any kind of project you would want to commit these changes so the moment something happens bad let's say somebody deletes your application or anything happens you always know that you're going to have your source code available and for this we're going to do the same thing that we did already in a previous project where at the end we set up our continuous deployment in this case though we were going to do it right now and since we have already covered it and if you do need to go back and maybe rewatch something or if you skip those videos altogether please do that because we're going to move quite swiftly and in this case i would like to set up first of all github so i'm going to say github there's going to be a new repository and the depository name is going to be react to do and we're going to call this list and in this case what we're looking for is this remote url that's the one we're going to copy and by the way i'm going to show you the second way how we can set up everything in the visual studio code i'm going to do that though after the next video so the first time we were going to do the same thing like we did before we went to integrated terminal then i'm going to clear it and then we're going to write git and let's say git add as always we need to add all the files then we're going to do commit and our first commit is going to be message and the message is going to be i don't know first commit that's what we're going to be doing and then we're going to have to add this remote url obviously this is what we're doing right now and then let's say in this case we're going to be looking for git push you that was the command where we're going to be pushing up to a remote url and we're going to call this master in this case it starts pushing everything to the github why don't we go ahead and check it out where this would be obviously this is going to be our repository and now let's head over to netlify which again we already have covered we're going to log in assuming that you have the account and everything then as always these are going to be your sites awesome everything is working really well however in my case i'm going to create a new one so i'm going to say new site from git then we're going to do the github and then we're going to be looking for the one that we just created so react and this should give me a to-do list i believe and that's going to be the one and we're going to pick this repo and now we're going to deploy the site so at this moment the actual netlify is going to start building our site and we can right away change the name for the site and say change name and we're going to call this react to do a project or you know what let's write to do list third project but then i'm going to add recording because i think that the name is already taken so let me save this and while github or i'm sorry not github netlify is building everything and by the way yeah, it says right now that page is not found because the building process hasn't been finished so let's go to overview again as you can see it's building right now i would like to show you how we can do this in the actual visual studio code meaning how we can push it up to the github without stopping the server the development server so first of all let me clear the terminal let me start the server just so you can see that everything is going to be working fine and we're going to be making some kind of changes now i'm going to close the terminal because we're not going to need it anymore and let's just add some kind of change so let's say i'm going to add some kind of comment uh, and we're going to write in a comment i don't know showing vs code github setup something like this so we're adding some kind of change and as you can notice right now the moment i'm going to save it I'm going to have this little one where I have the icon for the GitHub for the source control. And the way we can do that without stopping the dev server is just click on this icon and then right away they tell us, okay, so you made the change. Now at the moment you have one change and that would be in the app.js. And now let's come up with some kind of name for the commit message. And in my case, I'm going to be again showing VS Code uh, GitHub setup so i'm going to say this is going to be a message and then we need to click on this icon now the moment we're going to click on an icon this is going to say well you didn't stage any files because we could technically do this one by one we could choose what kind of files we would want to stage or in my case i'm just going to say 
yeah, I would like to automatically stage all our files. So we're just gonna have to click yes. So in this case, this is gonna stage all of them with that commit message, as well as we have this little icon because at the moment nothing is happening. So we see that okay, so technically our little one icon is gone, but we haven't pushed this one up to the GitHub. Don't believe me? Let me refresh, and you'll see that we still have first commit. However, we have here the little icon with three dots. We can push on it, and then we have the option for push. So this is going to be the one that pushes up to the GitHub. Again, you obviously need to set up your remote URL. Then this is going to work like a charm. And now once I have everything set up, I can go back to the file system. This is going to be awesome. Now I can head over to the GitHub. Then we're going to refresh it. And now we can see our commit message with showing VS Code GitHub setup. So now I know that everything is working so I can do it locally without stopping the dev server. Now, also, let's see why this is not showing anything. So let's refresh. Okay, so now this is going to be working. We do have our dev server. Let's open up the terminal. Just double check. Yeah, everything is working. We do have it running. The dev server is hard at work. Okay, what else we're going to have? Then I would also like to show you the Netlify. Because at the moment, we see that, first of all, our application was published. Everything was working fine. However, the moment I'm going to refresh it, remember the continuous deployment with our showing VS Code GitHub setup. So at the moment, because we did make those changes, just because I wanted to show you how the Visual Studio Code GitHub setup is working, now we're going to be actually pushing again another build process in Netlify. And now Netlify is going to build again our application. Now let me head over back. Let me show you where this is going to be our application where we just have the to do input and to do list. And this is going to be our continuous deployment with GitHub and Netlify setup. 